Hey guys, it's me, Darth Hobbs. Uh, I'm back with the game Luft Rousers. I've been streaming this on my Twitch. If you want to check that out, link in the description. Uh, if you don't know what the game is, it's uh, it's fun. It's a Vlambeer 2014, I think. And it's pretty arcade style, so if you don't like that, maybe watch some of my other videos instead. But essentially, it's just dogfights in the air uh, with battleships also and missiles unrealistic customizable ships or uh, planes I guess not ships anyways we will be uh, dying in this a lot I'm not the best is that a battleship already I might have to take that yeah it's a battleship oh boy right, let's try and dance our way around this and kill it uh, so one of the key uh, core core game mechanics here is uh, healing you cannot fire well, you can fire whenever, but you can't heal while you're firing. If you're firing, you're not healing. So, you kind of have to balance that um, to stay alive and not get yourself killed, which I do quite often. But it's a pretty simple game. It's really fun. Um, yeah, let's just focus on taking this guy out so I don't die. But... This guy's pretty big. He's going down though. He's definitely smoking. Okay. Nope, that's an ace. That's gonna be a big problem. We don't take it down. These things are obnoxious. Okay. Let's get rid of this battleship. There we go. We've sunk her. Fine. Got a lot of, uh. Oh, there's another ace on me. Take this thing out as soon as possible. They're really annoying. I right, we got a bunch of these guys. Way too many. Uh, smaller boats. Any blimps yet? No, no blimps. Blimps. Um, I don't even know if I could take a blimp out in normal mode. Now I want to switch something up in the hangar. We can randomize all three of these parts. This is gonna be fun. Um, so yeah, it gives you random, random uh, part combinations. It's called the Spook. Uh, it has a gun engine, I think. The um, it is the mid-tier part with uh, you're slower, but your health is higher. And then it has uh, the missile, it's the, the seeking missile. Uh, you know, weapons. So I'll take it. And the gun engine is also helpful in doing actual damage here. Oh yeah, I'm getting a big combo right now. I'll take it. Oh boy, where you might go down. Oh boy. Oh, is that a... That is a... Uh, yeah, that's an ace. Don't want that thing on my tail. Sheesh. Oh, that's another one. That's gonna be a big problem. Oh, 50 enemies in one combo got that mission done with. Nice. Okay, we do not want to die here. Oh, new high score. I will take a new high score any day. Oh, uh, we did we did uh, finish the max combo without spawning in a blimp, which kind of sucks. But that is part of the randomness of the game. Probably the worst part of the game is you know, the way it's unfortunately random rather than random in a good way. But I will take I'll take my high score and I will I will enjoy it. Now this gun engine is actually really nice. Uh, yeah, let's try and get some ships down, because there are a lot of them firing at me. I don't like that. Oh, that's a battleship. Nope, we're screwed. Yeah. Level 9? Okay. Is this a... Hold on. Options menu? Oh yeah, it's a black and white version. Honestly, I might play with this palette. I like it. This is the inspector. Oh yeah, we got the laser weapon on us. Okay, I actually like the black and white palette. It's nice. Perfect. 
why. Yeah, we can laser these guys out. Alright, this is going pretty well. Where is everything else, though? Not a lot. This is not a high spawn uh, round, unfortunately. There we go, we got some more, uh... Yeah, we got some planes down there. Oh, there's a boat. Let's take that guy out. Nice. There's a color palette. I don't really like most of the color palettes, because they are uh, pretty ridiculous and not... And they're not too kind on the eyes, but I like this one. It's simple. It's simple like the original. It's part of what makes the main color palette so good. Is its simplicity. Uh, yeah, let's take this ace out before it takes us out. Sheesh. Oh no. We're pretty low on health here. The ace might win. Oh, that's gonna... That's gotta hurt. Oh, the ace is gone. We are still flying. And there's another one. Still flying, people. How are we still flying? Honestly, we should be dead. Is that a battle? That's a battleship. Shoot. Okay, that ace is on fire though, so we can take it out if we uh, time this well. So I can heal, uh, but nothing else can heal except for me. So that is a huge advantage you have, as so long as you can balance the firing and the healing without, you know, getting yourself blown up like I'm about to. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see where's this ace at. Take him down. Right there. So your turning is a lot slower when you're uh, boosting. If you want to turn the fastest, you stall your plane midair. It's, uh, it's a pretty fun mechanic, I like it. Uh, you guys should all check out uh, the Gemsbox review of this game. It is you know, well written. Uh, I am dead. Oh, I had the nuke body on. So I killed everything when I died. That's nice. Uh, I think we will be going back to the default pal uh, color palette. But uh, his, uh, the Gemsbach, uh, is his channel. I'll link the video in the description. But, um, yeah, his, uh, his video on it is pretty, pretty well made. So. Okay, so this one has the missiles, and that's 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 good and all, but like, I honestly don't like the heat-seeking missiles as a weapon in this game. You just have much less control over what they're gonna target, you know? You know, I mean, they're effective, but you don't really get to pick what they're gonna be effective on. Let's get this guy out. I'm trying to get these guys closer to me, and they're diving off down that way. Oh, that is a big problem. Is that what I think it is? Yeah, that is another battleship. You can tell just by the bullets, the battleship has its own bullet thing. No. Uh, yeah, we can just bomb this thing. And hopefully make it out alive. Oh, there's an ace. Let's kill that thing already. Oh no, we blew ourselves up. Oh, another nuke body. Okay. Yeah, we die pretty fast sometimes, but it's fun. Oh, this is the shipwreck one. This one uh, has the melee, so we have no impact damage. It also has the water one. So essentially, we have no damage from going underwater. No impact damage. And the standard weapon, I think. No, it has the spread weapon. Okay. So it's very effective for taking out boats. I can literally just coast here and be totally fine. And just wait for a boat to like come and wait for, you know. I can just dive straight through a boat to sink it. Very effective. Until I get myself killed like that. <laughs> because I'm stupid. But uh, Loveless. Oh, this one's missiles. Oh, it has the hover one, and I think the new body. 
I'm not the biggest fan of this. Uh, so the hover one is essentially zero gravity, pretty much. I mean, not zero gravity, but virtually zero gravity. It's there a little, but you can pretty much just ignore it. Eh, it's interesting. It's weird. Futuristic. Um. But it's definitely interesting, if nothing else. If nothing good, it's, 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 it's weird. Hopefully I can survive in this longer. I think my favorite combination is uh, the GN. I don't know what that stands for, but... But the GN plane has the uh, standard... Um, standard weapons. The uh, health bulk. The shielded um, hull. And then the, uh, and then it has the super boost engine, which uh, essentially makes your turns even slower, but lets you go way faster in returns. Oh, I died. Wait, that one had a nuke body. Wait, no, I already thought that. Uh, yeah, let's play. Let's play with the specific set here. Let's do the Batman set. I like that one the best. Well, not the best, but I like it. It's good. Let's play the, the Batman. You see, I've got a couple hours in the game. It's pretty chill. If you, you know, if you don't suck at it. Which I kinda suck at it, but it's definitely fun regardless. Okay, where are all these guys coming from? Okay, let's kill some of this guy. Alright, we got a lot of uh, planes on our tails. A bit too many. There we go. Wipe them all out. Just a jet. Is a jet. Oh, let's take out some of these ships. Did not work well. Oh, yeah, we blew ourselves up there. But we took everyone else with us, so I think it's fine. Uh, you know, I want to play the, the ship man, the, the shipwreck here. We have this one's just called Nightmare. So it's essentially shipwreck, uh, except instead of the instead of the spread ammo, it's the laser. So this one has the melee body and the underwater one. So we're not taking any damage from going underwater. We don't take any impact damage. So we can essentially like shred through ships pretty easily. And the only damage we're taking is if we get hit with bullets. Which honestly I'll take that because I can avoid them. It's not that hard. Well, it gets harder. I can just shred through that ship with zero consequences. I have to actually get to the ship to do it. There we go. And you can always be healing, because you don't really need to use your, uh... Oh, I killed myself. Never mind, never mind. Yeah, let's fly the nightmare again. The soundtrack for this game is just fantastic, but you can literally just collide with everything to take them down. I think this, the game, the, the actual classic arcade game this reminds me of the most is Time Pilot. Um, probably only because I never got far enough into Time Pilot to have like weird spaceships, and I was always at the beginning levels where it was like normal enemies, but yeah, pretty, pretty, pretty uh, well made. Oh, no, we killed ourselves. Well, as always, it has been great fun recording this for all of you guys. If you did like the video, give me a like, give me 
you may subscribe a subscription. I mean, it's free, and you get notified of things. Do you not want to be notified of things? Like, come on. Just saying. And uh, check out my Twitch channel. Link in the description. Check out the Gemsbach. His uh, review of this game will also be in the description. And uh, have a good rest of your existence, my bro. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.